On today's show of Operation Reorganization, we'll follow the design process and the installation and the reveal of Nathaniel Payne. Yes, he's a great client. I met him personally, a military gentleman. And we have a new designer. We're introducing a new designer today right, into this Amanda. project. Amanda. Yes, a very talented and lovely young lady who has come to us from South Carolina. <laughs> Charleston was her last. Uh, her husband is also a pilot. And, right. Uh, a Navy pilot, and that was where he was stationed last. So that was a nice connection between Amanda and Nathan. That was a perfect. It was fit. Uh, yeah, this is a um, a unique space. Mm -hmm. Um, he called us because he needed custom designed and there were angled walls. So we had to template for this piece. Right. And it was interesting because he had actually torn out his whole kitchen and remodeled his kitchen himself. He's a handy guy. But for this, he called us because it was a little bit out of his comfort zone. I see. So, um, yeah, so I had to template it. And he had, a, um, he had a wire rack in this part of the kitchen. It really didn't go with the rest of what was going on in there because he did a beautiful job with the remodel of the kitchen. So this piece that's going in that corner um, is Tanino Winge. It's in black. It has lighting, glass doors, has wine storage. Um, it's just a beautiful design by Amanda and I'm excited about it. Well good, 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 good. That'll be a, a, a fun project. Yeah, and he's a really nice guy and I think the install will be fun and I think Juan's doing the install on this. Perfect. Which will make it uh, even more fun. <laughs> so we're looking forward to this project and I hope you enjoy the show. My name is Nathan Payne. I'm an active duty sailor in the U.S. Navy and I just got done refinishing my kitchen. Um, I bought this house in 2013 so I've lived in the area for a little while and I knew that the, the kitchen was something that needed to get touched up when I bought it and I was just waiting on the right time so I finally got around to it and there was a, a nook that I was using for my pantry with a wire rack and once the rest of the kitchen got updated I couldn't keep it that way, so I had to start reaching out, trying to find somewhere that could maybe come in and put in some kind of organization solution to kind of update it to, to match the rest of my space. Closet Factory was one of the, the top hits that came up in the searches, and uh, I went ahead and gave them a call. Um, I spoke with Amanda, and we had a pretty good conversation on the phone. Um, sounded like they could meet what my needs were, and decided to come on out and do a consultation. Hi, I'm Amanda Ellis. I am with Closet Factory. I moved here in May. Uh, my husband's military, so I've traveled a lot. I've been designing for five years, and when we moved up here, I was really excited to get to join the Closet Factory team. So we're here to meet Nathan Payne. He called to have us take a look at his kitchen area that he just is very unhappy with. He didn't have enough storage, and you know, haven't talked to him on the phone. We're now here to set up an appointment and see what we can come up with. So let's go take a look. Hi, I'm Amanda with Closet Factory. Hey, how's it going, Nathan? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. So we are looking at a pantry area. Yeah, I just got done redoing my kitchen and I have this horrible looking wire rack that I, I really need to get upgraded. All right, let's see what you got. All right, come here, I'll show you. Okay. There it is. But it's beautiful. You don't want to keep that in here? <laughs> no, are you serious? <laughs> so tell me what you are envisioning going into this area. Well, when I dropped out the cabinets, I lost a lot of storage area. Okay. So I was just thinking of doing like a floor to ceiling pantry. Um, you know, maybe like two doors, and like accordion, or uh, if it'll open and not run into this for clearance. But okay. um, I definitely want to go all the way to the ceiling. I don't want to lose, you know, any space over top. Okay. So are you thinking from here over, or? Um, I, I'd like it to kind of be able to come all the way up to this wall. Okay. And if it came out, uh, maybe to like that line there, like I kind of have it already cut out, because I want it to have good depth too. Okay. 
And are we wanting to try and match the cabinets? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Tell me a little of what you would like to do in this space, besides it being a pantry. Well, um, a few years ago, I, I really discovered that cooking is my passion. Okay. Um, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. It's kind of like my at-home office, um, something that I want to pursue later after I retire from the Navy, uh, is I want to find a job in the culinary field. Nice. Oh, so your Navy? Mm-hmm. My husband's Navy. Oh, nice. We're big military supporters. Excellent. Yeah, so I've been stationed in the area for a while. I bought the house in early 2013. Oh. Um, it had new granite, but I knew that the kitchen would need an update, and it was just a matter of when the right time was to get around to doing it. Um, but I, I took it on, I did it all the way I wanted it to be, and, um, and this is what it turned out to. So you said you redid all of these yourself? Yes, I did. So a little bit about us. Um, we do custom work. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'd like to do is get some measurements, and then we'll sit down at the table. We'll discuss what kind of options we're looking at, mm -hmm. come up with a design, and then um, you'll be able to see it 3D visually. Okay. And from there, we'll touch and play and move and figure out things that we want to add or take away from it. Okay. That sounds good. What we'll do now is we will come up with a design. Okay. And if you want to take a look at some of our wood grain samples here, that mm -hmm. way we can match what you have in the kitchen. Okay. Let me see here. This one, that, that would probably be the, uh, the best match. So let's see what we can come up with. I have a lot of glassware, okay. um, kind of a, like a partial liquor cabinet, um, you know, a lot of you know, seasoning, spices, all kinds of normal pantry stuff. Okay. But when I, when I dropped down the overhead cabinets, I lost a lot of space. Gotcha. So not only am I hoping to replace um, that wire rack, but I'm hoping to really maximize all that area um, to be able to have as much as possible okay. to, to cover for you know the, the cabinets that I took out. So let me give you an idea of what I have in mind that might work for you. We okay. did a house for Homerama. What if we did something similar to this? Okay. But we incorporated that angle wall mm -hmm. and we changed it up to fit what you need. So I, I, I definitely wanted a pantry. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I think that you should kind of see what you can do and, and see if you can make that work. What is holding me up here and really I'm struggling with is this angled wall. Okay. Have you worked with an angled wall before? Personally, no. They're really tricky. Okay. It's hard to get something to fit into there, mm -hmm. especially if we're doing a really tall cabinet. Okay. What if we just did some lower cabinets that went across that angled wall? How much space am I giving up? You're, you're, you're really like <laughs> making me work for this, aren't you? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get what I want. Tell you what, let me take some time okay. to work up what I think is going to be the absolute best design for this area. Okay. Um, I'm going to take it to the office. I'm going to talk to my guys. Mm -hmm. And that way, when I come back, I can, I'm going to blow you away. Okay. All right? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I will succeed. We'll see. All right. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Mr. Payne, how are you? Juan from the Closet Factory, how are you? Nice to meet you. Come on in. All right. Yeah, seems like uh, we got a nice little uh, china cabinet uh, wine rack set mm -hmm. up for you. So if you want to show me the space, we can get ready. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, right over here. Right. I just anchored my um, wall cabinet here wanted to make sure that I'm up as tied to the wall as I possibly can. We always put a filler strip right here on the side, that way we got something to nail our trim into. Um, but now that I got that level and stationary ready to go, I can go ahead and attach the rest of the units. 
And there's only two more units up here, so I'm gonna attach those, get all these nice and level and anchored, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the doors and everything up top here. That way when I work on the base cabinet, I'm not having to crawl over it all the time to finish this up here. So I'm gonna finish this one off first, and then I'm gonna start on the base. I got the upper section up. This is the uh, structure of it. Um, so as you can see right here, we got holes in here. These are for our puck lights. They're gonna shine down on the countertop. So I'm gonna install those. That's pretty much the last of actual like installation that this thing needs before it gets trimmed out and added doors to it. So I'm gonna run those lights first, get that all wired up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hang my wine racks, uh, I mean my stemware racks right here and then I'm gonna trim this out and put the doors up before I hit the bottom cabinet. Got the upper section unit up, uh, got the structure up. All I gotta do now is uh, gotta get the hardware on here and pretty much clean up the inside here, wipe it all down, um, pretty much it's good to go. Now I'm gonna hit the base cabinet and get that tied in. So overall it's looking pretty good, top side stuff. I'm gonna check it out right now, man. All right, all right, bye. There's Jeff checking on it. Jeff calling on his, uh, checking on his corner unit. <laughs> what we're about to find out. Just gotta zip off some of that baseboard right there. Put to go right, snug up right to it. Nobody home. <laughs> hey, how's it coming? Hey, what's up? Oh, wow, this looks good. Awesome. Yeah. Do you have any trouble with this? With that, I had all sorts of trouble. Oh, no, really? Yeah, we had to move the wall. So. You're funny. You're, yeah, you're pulling so, my leg. Yeah, okay. so no. Okay. It went good. Awesome. Oh, well. whatever, oh, kind of, whatever kind of measuring tape you use, use that again. It's a laser measure, works. man. It, all right. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. Yeah, That's everything's awesome. good. Once yeah. the granite gets on this, it is going to look stellar. Yep. It's going to look real cool. So I talked to him about where to put the switch for the light. So I went ahead and snuck it oh. up under here. That way it's nice. not out visible. So. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. So. All right, high far five. So good. Yep, almost Can't there. Without you. Almost there. Let's check this out. All right. Oh, wow. What do you think? That is amazing. Yeah? That is way more than I ever even could have imagined it would have been. <laughs> like, I'm serious. You guys completely outdid yourselves. Like, I'm pretty blown away. Awesome. 
little bit to show you. Um, all your shelving is adjustable okay. here. Um, here as well. Okay. Here's your wine racks. I know, I gotta go get some wine bottles now. <laughs> so your switch is right here. Oh, nice. I like how it's hidden. Yep. So this right here, um, it's hiding your cables for the puck lights. Okay. So um, what we're gonna need you to do is when you talk to the guy who's cutting your granite, he'll mm -hmm. just notch around this, okay. and then he can push it back where he needs to, so it'll be right. flush against the wall. Okay. So nice. those are all your wires for these lights are hidden in there. Nice. That was a good idea to put that there. So when they template it, they can do that. Okay. Down here as well, all this is adjustable. Mm -hmm. What's really cool is even though this is kind of that corner angled unit, right. these are also adjustable. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can adjust it to whatever you want to put in there. Okay. Yeah, I remember you said that those were going to be stationary, so... We were able, able to, to do them where they're adjustable and you can change the height. Nice. So that's my surprise to you with, with <laughs> this. Yeah, that was one thing that uh, <laughs> I didn't plan on, but it, it works great. I'm really glad we talked about the handles. Okay. And we were able to, you know, decide if you could find the ones like you did earlier to get right. the same ones you did for the rest of the kitchen. That really, I think, worked out because these match perfect to the rest. Yeah, it really helps tie in the two sides of the spaces and make it look yeah. like one design. Well, what do you think? Since I know this is not initially what we had talked about doing in this space. Um, I think that it's going to work better. I really do. Um, having the additional countertop, um, the lighting, uh, kind of a mix so of a that? dry bar slash pantry. It, so, are you saying that I designed something perfect for this space for you? I, I think I would definitely say that you <laughs> custom designed something that is specific to this place only. Awesome. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else that could have done this. Well, I. I love it. Like it looks so much better in person than even the three D rendering that I put together. So. And also, it, it doesn't come into the, the space so much, so that it doesn't feel like yeah. you're, you're closing in the kitchen. And having the the dark on the dark, it kind of like frames the room out. Yep. This turned out better than I could have imagined and hoped. It looks so much better than the three D design even comes out. I can't wait to see it with the granite on it. You know, I love being able to work with a company that allows us to design things with angled cabinets that you can't typically do. Well, I know you were in love with that wire rack. Mm. So <laughs> yeah, right? I made sure these were metal. Okay. Just for that. Any, uh, any <laughs> complimentary wine bottles? For me? That would be uh. great. Next time you come over, we'll have a glass. It doesn't, it doesn't come free stocks? <laughs> What's the problem here? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it looks great. You guys right. did a great job. So it's been several weeks since we installed Nathan's cabinets. His granite got in and we're going to take a look. He says he's all settled in, has everything ready and uh, I remembered and brought my bottle of wine for him. So let's see if we can find a home for it. All right, so hey. come on in, check this out. So I remembered your wine. I know I promised. Yeah, you better. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at this. The granite matches almost perfect. I know, it's amazing. So, um, you know that I need this to replace that wire rack. Right. And then I also had a lot of like excess glassware and stuff that I picked up um, that was kind of clouding that uh, cabinet over there. So were you able to put everything? Oh wow, you did. Yeah, so I, I still have nice. those like little tubs that I had yeah. with all the different like kitchen okay. um, cooking utensils and stuff that I was using. Okay. Um, but I was able to fit all of my pantry type stuff oh, nice. down here at the bottom. Um, I put some of the snacks and stuff that I know my daughter likes, kind of where she can get to it without needing me. And then um, up top, I kind of put you know, some of the stuff that maybe I don't use too often, uh, a lot of the glassware, shakers, um, you know, stuff that maybe I don't want her getting to. Makes sense. And, 
Yeah, everything fits awesome. perfect. And I still have a little bit of space, like it's not overcrowded. Yeah. So if I needed to put more things in there, I could. Um, there's definitely room to grow. Nice. So I would say, I mean, this is everything that you had in that wire shelving. Mm -hmm. So you, you gained more space, space. I did, absolutely. That's what we were hoping for. Yeah, <laughs> and the, the granite too, this is one of the things that I'm, I'm really happy with. I can't believe with. how close it matches. Yeah, I had to uh, walk quite a few remnant yards to track this I was, this I was down. with you for half of them. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> so I was very fortunate to, to find this piece and, uh, and get that uh, to match the rest of the kitchen. Yeah, it, it blends perfectly. It really does. It looks, it looks awesome, Nathan. Yeah, I'm beyond pleased. It is amazing. There you go. Right. Well, it was a pleasure working with you, and I'm very. This is this is beyond what I expected. Me too. I love it. Uh, yeah. This is an amazing space, and uh, it, it feels like a brand new kitchen. Great. That's what we were hoping for. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I am beyond pleased. It was everything that I had hoped for. Um, a lot of which I didn't even realize I wanted until Amanda kind of opened my eyes and showed me. And it, it's so far meeting every single need that I, I kind of thought I had. I, I like to do everything myself if I can, um, but I know that if I have a, a space that I need something done that's maybe a little beyond my ability or resources, I would definitely call them again if I had another project to do. Closet Factory was the only place that was large enough of a company to keep the price down, but had enough uh, ability in-house to fabricate and customize to exactly what I needed. To where anywhere else, they, they just couldn't fit the space that I was working with. Literally, Closet Factory was the only one that could do it. So um, I would definitely recommend them for tackling any job that anyone might have. I've already started cooking up a storm and making all kinds of delicious yummy stuff and I'm excited to just keep it going and, and see where it goes. All right, so that went fantastic. It looks amazing and I think he may have some other spaces for us later down the road. He has a wall he's been hinting about. But till next time, I can't wait to see what else we have in store for this season and my next client.